how you lead during times of uncertainty is what's going to set you apart from the pack, <clears throat> from average, mundane, going extinct like a dinosaur, okay? Now hear me out here. This is by no means intended to be doom and gloom and fear mongering. Not necessarily motivational either, but it is very intentional. And it is about being intentional with your actions, your thoughts, and the people around you. You see, when things are uncertain, we look to leaders that much more. We look for people to bring the light within the dark. We look for people to follow, people that instill hope and inspiration and remind us that tough times never last, tough people do. And we've all heard that a million times before. So what does that mean? If you're crying, complaining, you know, being a negative Nancy, contributing to all of the fear, the frustration, the angst that's going on in the world. Sure, people might tune in for a minute. They might enjoy it for a minute, but it's not going to last. Eventually, they will be so overwhelmed and so bored, they're going to leave you. And that is a reputational hazard that you might not be able to come back from. Yes, some people have built their brands around it, but do you really want to be that guy? Don't be that guy. Instead, focus on what you can do to bring light, to bring hope to people, to give them a reason to get out of bed and get dressed, even though they're confined to whatever limitations they have, whether it's a house, being confined to their house in quarantine, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> the more that you can give, the more light that you can put out there, the more people will be drawn into you. The more people will find reasons to celebrate their own accomplishments while following your lead. Not necessarily your footsteps, but following your lead. And eventually, you will have a tribe of people around you that are just as motivated, just as ambitious. Your vibe attracts your tribe. You will have these people around you that will lift you up when you fall down because you've been lifting them up when they felt like they were down. There are no bad teams. There are only bad leaders. That's a quote by Jocko Willink and Leif Babin. Those guys say that a lot and it's true. Our capacity our abilities, our willingness as leaders to step up regardless of whether how dark or light times are. Our ability to be able to step back and let other people take the reins, take the lead, test their limits, find their boundaries of their capabilities so they know what to, what to work on, what to lean on. It's key. And the world needs that more than ever right now. We all need it. Don't get it twisted. I have people like that I look up to and I'm paying close attention to right now because they give me that kick when I need it, when things are feeling too bleak and motivate me to better myself so I can help others because a rising tide raises all ships. That's what I got for you guys. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for tuning in. We're going to chat soon. Cheers.